I don't know. I, I know that. Okay, so you don't want to answer. I understand. So I'll tell people because you don't want to answer. The Swedish politicians who went to go and visit Iran wore hijabs and bowed to uh, the Islamic patriarchs. Yes. Now, Iran, yeah. Iranian women, if you if you really want to see some yeah. truly tragic photos, you look at Iranian women protesting, being forced to wear the hijab in the past. Yes. They, I, they, I they really, really did not want to step back through the time portal into the Middle Ages in this situation. And so uh, it seems that the, um, the Swedish feminist politicians have no problem bowing down to brutal patriarchs who oppress women. And they have no problem wearing the hijab when they go and visit Iran. Uh, and uh, this is all revealed. This is all revealed that it's all uh, it's all a lie. It's all um, worse. It's toxic nonsense. Uh, it's, um, you know, they're, they're just they're bowing down before a patriarchy. Are you kidding me? Yes, I don't agree. Just so you know, I think that that was ridiculous. I've totally faced I know. it. But I heard about that. I know. And I I'm think just... that it makes women look insane. Um, well, uh, the fact the fact that it's not being commented on much, um, this of course is men's men's fear, right? That the, yes. the, some men's fear is that feminism was you probably heard this right, but this fear that that feminism was this big giant shit test, right? In yes. other words, the woman is like seeing, are you strong enough to rule us? No, okay, we're going to walk all over you. Yes. Okay, now we're going to go and bow before men who do oppress women because they're strong enough to rule us, and it's just like, oh, please don't feed this idea so strongly.